Hey everyone, I just want to take a minute to go over SMART goals and um, how we're going to be using them this year. So I want you to take a minute to think about a goal and what the purpose of it is. For me personally, a goal is something I set when I want to achieve something. And a lot of times I achieve or I try to set goals, but if I don't write them down, it seems to be that I don't I don't make it work or I forget about it or I make excuses. So the goal today is for you guys to set a goal for your reading. So on this page, we are going to do that. And then we're just gonna break it down step by step. There is no wrong way to set a goal. The only wrong thing to do is to not write it down and think it through. So, um, you are gonna set a goal specifically for reading and it's just going to be for this first nine weeks. And after this first grading period, we'll look at our goal and we'll set another one, okay? So, we're gonna start with the S with, which is what exactly do I want to accomplish? So for me personally, reading is not always the first thing that I think of when I have free time. And so I'm gonna think about what exactly do I care about reading? Do I just wanna to try to read one book before the nine weeks is up? Do I want to try to read 10 books? What is something that I truly wanna do? The M is for measurable. How will I know I have achieved my goal? The A is for attainable. Is it possible to meet this goal? Is it realistic for me? The R is relevant, is why is my goal important to me? And the T is timely. What is my deadline for this goal? So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna fill this out for myself. So for me, I'm gonna start with the S, which is what exactly do I want to accomplish? So for me, I want to read three books, okay? I'm gonna jump down to the T and I'm gonna say, what is my deadline for this goal? Okay, so by the end of this first nine weeks. So I'm gonna say end of marking period one. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back up and I'm gonna say, how will I know I have achieved my goal? So for me, I know I'm going to achieve my goal when three books are completely read. So then I'm gonna think of the A for attainable. Is it possible to meet this goal? Is it realistic? That's where I need to think in my head can I meet this goal? For me personally, it's pretty hard to find time to read because outside of work, I have two kids. I love to spend time with my family. Um, so I have to think, are three books going to be reasonable for me? I'm going to say yes. Now, if I said I want to read 10 books by the end of the nine weeks, to me, that's not reasonable. That's not something that I truly think that I could accomplish. So I want to set a small goal for myself. The R again is for relevant. Why is my goal important to me? Well, personally, I know reading benefits me in so many ways. It helps me calm down. It helps me wind down. And I know Netflixing and getting on Hulu or whatever other streaming services aren't necessarily the best thing to do every single night. So I think for me, this goal is important to me because it will help me oops, help me calm down after a long day. Okay, so I've gone through the SMART process and it might look a little overwhelming to you and that's okay. At the end of the day, guys, my biggest goal, I hate saying that over and over for you, is to be able to write down a goal down here. Okay, so that's my last step. 
So now I'm gonna take all of my pieces and I'm gonna put it together in a complete sentence. So my goal is to read three whole books by the end of marking period one. That's it, that's my goal. It's one complete sentence. Sometimes I think we make goals a little bit too hard for ourselves or we kind of laugh them off or we joke about them. But at the end of the day, my friends, this is personal to you. I want you to be able to set a goal for yourself. What's interesting is that in middle school, we tend to separate ourselves into readers and non-readers. But there should be no separation because you guys should be able to all achieve a goal in reading. So I want you to think this really clear, really through and be honest with yourself. Is your goal to just read one book? Maybe you've never finished a book in your entire life and you've never done it on your own. Maybe your goal is to, I'll write some examples down, down here. Maybe your goal is to finish just one book by marking period one. Maybe your goal is to read a new genre. Maybe you've never read historical fiction and you want to kind of tap into that. Maybe you've only read graphic novels and you want to read one chapter book by the end of marking period one. Maybe you want to read a graphic novel, okay? So this does not have to be hard. This does not have to be this process where you have to sit 30 minutes a day and read and log your minutes. This is just what is a personal goal you want to achieve by the end of marking period one. Obviously, reading is something that I'm passionate about as your teacher, and I don't expect all of you to be so passionate about it, but I would love for you to set a goal for yourself, okay? This is personal to you. There's no right or wrong other than just not writing one down. So what you're going to do now is you are going to work on your SMART goal sheet that I've passed out to you, and you are going to figure out what your goal is. If these sections right here, so I'm talking about this, if these sections right here are confusing to you, that's okay. Your biggest thing that you need to complete is this right here. So take the remainder of warm-up time today and write down your goal.